but for me. I'm talking to Nita. Nita, where did you volunteer and what did you do? I volunteered to work in Port Elizabeth in South Africa um, at an HIV, on an HIV project. Um, my background is nursing and I spent some of the time going out with the carers. Um, but I found while I was there I also did lots of other things in the creche and in the kitchen. What was the project name? It was Project Emmanuel in Port Elizabeth, South Africa. And what were the highlights of your trip? I suppose when you go out and you work with local people and all of the carers and, and the people I was working with lived in the township you get a, an experience far greater than you could ever get as a tourist. Um, I love mixing with the people, I love listening to them sing, um, learning a bit of their language, their coastal language with the beautiful clicks. It was just delightful to be with them and amongst them and to see people with so little who have such a lot of joy. And what were the greatest challenges of your time volunteering? Uh, I think um, most health professionals are used to um, an awful lot of resources and these resources simply aren't available in Port Elizabeth. Um, and not just physical resources but some of the clinic staff um, I came into contact with hadn't had a degree of training that we would have experienced here in the UK and um, that was quite frustrating at times because you would have to be quite diplomatic as to how you approach them um, to get the response that you were hoping to get um, but there were ways around it and uh, with, with practice you learn to um, you pick up new skills and learn how to deal with it. And what is the most important piece of advice that you would give to potential volunteers? I think I would tell them to go out with an open mind and to be prepared to do anything, not necessarily the thing that you were doing back in the UK, um, but to roll your sleeves up and get stuck in because you'll get far more back than you're ever going to deliver and I had the, the chance to um, learn some of the local language and the two ladies in the kitchen taught me loads of songs most of which I don't know what they mean but I had a great deal of fun learning them and learning to sing them and yeah it was good just be prepared to do anything and if you're not be prepared, it's a good idea to sort of say in advance, you know, I've come here and I'm happy to do this, but I don't want to do these other things. And then hopefully you won't be put in the position where you'll be asked to do that. And finally, Nita, why did you choose people and places? Um, well, initially we volunteered through Saga, my husband and I, but uh, we were, Kate was the first person that contacted us and we found them to be um, a very professional organisation and certainly they were the ones that kept us up to date with what was happening and um, we'd use them again if we go out. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you for your time.